Well, I've been working on this Spit X20 here, and obviously this is beyond step one. Uh, but what I've done is I'm making the videos here of each step as I go, but I haven't really been doing much as far as the video for testing. And three steps in, I've decided to go back and start doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test the first step here. The first step was to transmit receive relay, as well as a few support components for it, installing those. So it's not a very exciting test, but it's a test. Uh, for power here, I've gone and I've put on pin headers so I can make it. I'm putting pin headers on just about everything so it'll be easy to take the board in and out. I want to make modifications later uh, so I didn't have to solder on a temporary wire or anything like that, uh, which is usually what I see in the examples. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and plug power in. And I don't really feel like soldering on a switch. I've got pin headers on the PTT as well. Uh, so I can go ahead and just short those out with a nail here. And it clicks, so I can hear the relay going. Now I'm going to put pin headers here on the... There's a test point here for transmit and receive. I think it's a test point. The directions don't really have us using this for anything. Uh, the pictures don't even have anything populated here, but it says TX on one side, RX on the other, and ground in the middle. And if I attach to those and plug it into my tester here, I see I've got no voltage there. Uh, right now I'm going across black and red, which is transmitting ground, so that makes sense. So I'll hit the PTT. And sure enough, I've got 12 volts. No more than 12 volts. Now I'll switch this here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to where it's marked RX. And sure enough, I've got 12 volts. As soon as I hit the PTT, let's hit it with the side where I can keep it, there we go jumps down to pretty much zero. So I'm going to say the transmit receive relay is working. And that's it for testing step one.